And welcome to Channel 7 News. We're here once again with our uh, illustrious author of the book, I Wear Kilts on My Neck. Hi, how are you doing today? Quite fine and dandy. How are you? I'm well, thank you very much. And um, I just had one question for you. Uh, what was your name again? The name's Dan. Dan. Now, that is a difficult name to remember, and the reason why it's a difficult name is because we don't usually associate uh, the name Dan with um, the kilt neck-wearing peoples. Now, how exactly did you come across this group of people, and why in the world did you decide to join their illustrious group? That's uh, quite a good question. Um, actually, what happened was I was walking around with my uh, normal kilt, and I noticed that uh, people weren't really uh, getting giving too much of a, a reaction to the kilt, because right, in, yes. in, in kilts we tend to want a reaction when we're wearing kilts, don't yeah, we? Yeah, that is uh, that's, that's part of the history behind the kilts is getting reactions out of the kilts. So what I was thinking was like, you know what? I wonder if there's people out there that share the same feelings that I do. You know what I mean? Deep inside. Yes, and did you? F how long did it take you to find this group of people? Quite a while. I actually uh, I made myself a boat and I went on a, on a trip on some rivers looking for uh, people that shared this, pa this passion. Now, what type of boat exactly did you make? Well, uh, I don't know the technical terms for, uh, for boats, but uh, a shaft, if that's what you call a... Uh, I see. Uh, if you, that's, if that's what you call the, 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 you know, the part on the boat where it's like... The part on the boat, yeah, I think we know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, okay, well, you know, some people don't know about it. Uh, okay, so yeah, I was going down the river when uh, there was this uh, this little waterfall thing coming up. And uh, so I got a little, you know, held myself up, ready for some sort of trouble. When I heard a yell. A yell. Sort of a Celtic... A Celtic... <laughs> 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 sorry, 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 continue. Welcome to Channel 6 News. Thank you for listening. Uh, we had a quick little commercial break there, and we're right back with our illustrious Dan. And uh, he is wearing his kilt on his neck. This is not a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dan. He's part of the illustrious kilt neck wearing group. And we're here speaking with him right now. Um, Dan, please continue with your story. You were just saying to the, uh, the viewers at home about how you were on a boat with a shaft and you were about to go down a waterfall when you heard a yelp, a Celtic yelp. This is true. The Celtic yelp came out of the forest. It was quite high pitched. Mm. It was, a, it was a, quite a, a high volume and uh, it caught me off guard. I didn't expect it, you know. When you're on the river, you don't expect Celtic yelps to come out of the river. No, the definitely forest. not. This is a very rare circumstance. Yeah. Please, please tell us more. This is fascinating. Sometimes you hear animal noises, and sometimes you hear, like, little groggling noises from the fishies. But never Celtic yelps. No, I personally have never heard a Celtic yelp. I'm sure the viewers at home will agree this is absolutely unprecedented. Yeah, quite. Um, so what I did is I, uh, well, I was, in the position I was in, I was holding on to the boat. Right. Because, you know, water fogs. Right, edge, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Luckily, I, I had a parachute. So after hearing, the, after hearing the yelp, going off of the waterfall thing, I was in midair, pulled the parachute, went into flight. Some people call it a, sort of like a, a float, floating... Okay, so now you're telling me that you're floating off of a waterfall. This is actually really difficult for me to believe. I, I'm not sure... Can, can you give me some sort of concrete evidence as to how this could actually happen? I cannot. It would, you'd have to trust me. Uh, as the kilt, as the the uh, the kilt neck people do, we just trust each other. We we you know we believe each other just from where. It's a community of trust. I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is interesting. Please continue. So I'm in midair, floating with my parachute, when uh, I see some uh, you know some some people kind of dancing around, yelping, Celtically yelping. And I was like, maybe I should float into that area. So I float in, and to my surprise, they all had neck kilts. Neck kilts. Now, as far as I'm, as, as, according to how I've been informed, this is the first official meeting of, you know, a, a, a normal kilt wearer and a neck kilt wearer. This was a, really a historical moment, wasn't it? 
this is true. They haven't really been uh, out there. Even though they want reactions. <laughs> they just... just you know. <laughs> I'm running out of batteries. And that's a wrap. Thank you very much.